We know in our experience that's what good leaders do as well, is they encourage people to keep moving forward. That was a useful message today, particularly for people leaders, to, to think about how their own personalities shape how they approach situations. Even if it's not extroversion and introversion, aspects of personality I think are a really important sort of focus that I would continue to be interested in. Introvert and extrovert is very high level. I think there's a lot more to learn and there's a lot of other factors about personality that we'd like to, to learn and to be able to think of ways to apply that kind of awareness to people that we deal with, not purely about ourselves, but how to interact better with others very engaging. I liked it. It's very easy to follow, learning a lot and easy to be a part of the workshop. We are going to share some of our knowledge with you and hopefully you can use this uh, back in the workplace and at home even. And when we have a look at anything around personality and preferences, we usually um, talk about um, psychological safety. So it's not just physical safety, it's psychological safety. Because when we talk about personality, we're talking about the way in which you think and feel and behave. And we, um, we want people to feel safe enough that they can actually be okay with their preferences, the way in which they make decisions, communicate and the different styles they have. It made me think about my approach a little bit better and there were people in the room that I work with that was actually quite interesting for me to go okay now I understand how we need to work in that dynamic a little bit better so that's I think a big takeout for me today. My biggest takeaway from the workshop was to be able to see more about myself, about where I sit between being an introvert and an extrovert. I thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. It was very informative and good to get those clinical examples in relation to the workplace. I want you to imagine that you're um, looking into a camera and you're going to take a, a snapshot of someone, alright? So imagine you're doing that. All right. So would you normally put the camera up to your left eye or your right eye? Show me. We don't do that anymore though, do we? It's like... <laughs> it's really my right hand. It's like, I haven't done that for 10 years, Jen. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Because we do... Like, we've been doing these workshops for 20 years now, right? They were great. I was noticing their body language and how they move around the room together. I noticed they get together at certain points. And it's very engaging to see people and they're just feeding off each other. I, I, was, I was really paying attention to that dynamic. It was great. And I was wondering the whole time if they were sisters. So <laughs> that was good she clarified that in the end. They present together and it's almost as if it doesn't matter who's saying it. The same message is coming out from both people. They seem to almost finish each other's points or sentences and it's, it's really a true joint presentation. And so we are still uh, the, the same Myers-Briggs personality type but on other personality types we're a little bit different and that just shows that the Myers-Briggs isn't the be all and end all as it go, you know in terms of personality. It is just one way to type personality and we have found it to be one of the most effective ways to yeah, type it's personality. A great tool. Yeah. So someone said I have a work personality yeah, or, or yeah or there is this thing you know there's a work personality and there's a home personality. Very engaging, 10 out of 10, very knowledgeable, intelligent women. Worthwhile for everyone in the workplace to go through, whether they're just started or at the managerial level. I hope they come back and do another one. I would absolutely recommend them to my colleagues and friends. If they were to have another workshop, I would definitely be there again.